fantastic role model for women's judo and what a fighter. I tip her for a final place in the Olympic Games. Yeah, I yeah. really do. I rate this one so much. Um, I just love everything about her. I think she's got the whole package. She's a brilliant athlete. Sorry, Gemma, I'm, I want you to win as well today. Yeah. <laughs> so I do hope you're just going to get in there and mm. so chop me up, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now we are here on the fight between Corval of France yeah. in the blue. Yes. And from Austria, Maya, Michael, Michael, in German, and the 66. Got such a lovely accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes! That's a gloom of fantastic. But he just lost it. Yeah. As he lifted him up, he yeah. lost the control, and his opponent just fell off the back. Yeah. And But he's still got a score, but a very fantastic, explosive yeah. entry to that. Yeah. So. He should have French controlled him un until the end, yeah? Yes, he yes. just threw him and let him fall. Michael is very, very... Well, he's got a great aerial awareness and he's a, obviously an experienced athlete, so yeah. didn't make that easy for the, the Frenchman. No, Corral is really working there for that Gigi Katami. Yeah. He's got it nice yeah, and low. tight, but the, as you can see, the leg is trapped. Yeah. So it doesn't put as much pressure That's on right. the arm that is required to be able to get it out, and especially these guys. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they're very, very powerful. So you have to get it spot on there again. Oh, you've got nice. Oh, yes, yes. Lips. Yeah. As you can see. Whoa. But as that entry, as you could see him, he went up on one leg. Yeah, yeah. And Corral lost his balance on that as well. Obviously a very competent um, athlete working in Niwaz and very comfortable going down there, the mm -hmm. Frenchman. Three and a half minutes are left now. It's so, it's so much their lifetime because so much has been going on, even just in yeah. a, a short spur. Yeah. Here and now he's looking. And the legs in, using the legs as well as the arms, but again, it's very, very tight. Mm -hmm. These mm -hmm. guys are so strong. You have to be in there very quick to be able to do anything. Michael's not letting up again. He now works in there on the knee So he's looking for the Sankaku, but he didn't actually get the, that leg behind that arm. A very tight defense position there from Corval. Yeah. The Austrian chasing all the time looks the most dominant of this. these two here. Yeah. Piling on the pressure, but obviously the reason is that Corval cannot hold back and just wait for... to eat up two and a half minutes with just a, a Yuko. Yeah. He has to keep fighting. If it, uh, That's lose right. this match. If he defends now at such early stage of this match, yeah. he's going to lose. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. And already you see signs of him backpedaling and moving, circling away from his opponent. And Michael is actually starting to chase, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. He's always straight to the center. He's moving forward. He's piling on the pressure. And you can see the Frenchman is backing off. Yeah. And he's going to open himself up to being in a really awkward position. And Meyer will throw him. There's another attempt there. Real sloppiness there with the mm -hmm. sort of a drop Tayatoshi attack here from Corval. But yeah, you're right with the punishments. Uh, we yeah. saw the fight before. Yeah. You have it can't to go keep so quickly. Attacking. Yeah. If the if referee recognizes that you don't want to fight, mm. yeah, and uh, you, you make passive judo, that's the most uh, dangerous. You see, yeah. he's got the two sided grip there. Yeah. He's got to be careful with that, the Frenchman, because that's very negative as well. Mm -hmm. And the referee will spot that if he doesn't do anything with it. But again, you see that the Frenchman's right on the edge there. He's not willing to commit. And as we saw in the earlier stages, the first 30 seconds, he was amazing. Yeah. He put the pressure on Michael. He really did shake him yes. up in the first 30 seconds. He got his score. And now he's trying to hang on to it. Mm -hmm. And the red sweet. Uh, Is that Udo Kremers? Yeah. His, you um, you coach? can just see Udo Kremers. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> He's from Leipzig originally, oh, my town. What an <laughs> Olympic brilliant champion. athlete. Yeah, and we had the absolutely. pleasure of having him as a, a national coach for us in Great Britain for yeah. a, uh, a few years. Mm -hmm. And 
had a lot to offer, a, a, a gentleman as well, mm -hmm. absolute wonderful mm -hmm. guy. Very humble Olympic, Olympic champion, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously has been his enthusiasm and his experience as a coach is, and as an athlete is now yeah. starting to show in someone like Ma Michael Meyer. Well, for another attempt, and now the pressure is, it's all one-sided now, even though there's yes. still the score from the French, it is only a minimum, but the pressure is now going from Michael, he's really piling on the pressure, and it's just a matter of time before the referee is going to penalise the Frenchman, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, that's something here, medical assistant. Bloody, bloodying a bit. Mm -hmm. So it's just a quick medical check there. Mm -hmm. There must be a scratch or something. Yeah. These guys just need to toughen up, I think, yeah. really, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Not as tough as us ladies. So the Frenchman is um, getting himself together, but if I was his coach, I'd be saying, right, you cannot backpedal. You have got 58 seconds. Meyer is going to come at you like a yes. train going downhill. He is not going to stop. He's got nothing to lose. He's got an early shower if That's he doesn't right. get this score back. So it's all or nothing now for him. Yeah. He ain't got nothing to lose. But the Frenchman could lose this in the first, this last minute. Yeah. And he is backpedaling again. There's a drop Sienagi. Yeah. A real poor attack. It didn't move his opponent because why? He's backpedaling. He yeah. cannot draw his opponent onto him. Lovely grab and roll over. But again, he needs to get him upstairs. Yeah. He hasn't got enough time to work in the new other unless the opening is straight in and he then finishes it very mm -hmm. quickly. Mm -hmm. He needs to get that score or he needs to be tactical enough to be able to get a penalty to even this up for golden score. That's right. Michael's attacks are just not strong enough and a flurry That's of attacks right. here. Yeah. You see, this is where the Frenchman exactly. if he keeps piling the pressure on attack, 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 and if they're good enough attacks and they're breaking yeah. his opponent up, it means that Michael cannot come in. So he's chasing and he's defending. So, so 12 seconds to go. Yeah. Um, again, at medical assistance, so whatever is bleeding at this moment, um, it obviously hasn't been looked at carefully enough, so the doctor needs to come back on and check. The Frenchman there, the coach, has um, just given a little bit more advice, but now this is a situation that he doesn't... The Frenchman shouldn't backpedal, he shouldn't go back, he should start circling. He should start circling um, Kumikata, just keeping his opponent away, yep. watching for the flurry of attacks with the big, big, big sacrifice of technique that my, Michael Meyer is going to make. He's mm -hmm. got to. He is, he's not. He's an experienced fighter that doesn't really want to go out in this first match. He needs to really... Do. It's all or nothing. So it might be a situation he can throw or he'll get thrown for a pawn. Yeah. That's nice hairdo, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's got an arrow pointing to his temple. <laughs> <laughs> I think these guys are sometimes as vain about their hair as what the girls are, aren't they? At least the girls are all they're sensible and they tie it all up and they make sure that it doesn't get an effect. And yeah. you just get this lovely artistic work on these guys' hair. <laughs> it amazes me how I'm trying to read it. <laughs> 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 as long as it doesn't actually inscribe stupid or something like this. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 12 seconds. Um, very tense a last attack. coach there. But it is, it's nerve-wracking as in a coach because you just don't want your opponent, your, your player to make a, a mistake at yeah. this level. Because 12 seconds. If he makes a mistake now, then he really should be kicking himself. So, but then you can see, look, he's in attention there. Yeah, Michael is really lo lovely gripping. He's so, oh, he, like you said, there almost a pawn. He, oh, yeah. But he had to do it. Yeah. Fantastic attack. I think he could he catch his breath a little bit back, you oh, know. Oh, lovely deep yeah, entry yeah, there. Yeah. That was actually a great attack, maybe the best attack and from the Frenchman it. today. Yeah. And that was. 
good and, finish. And maybe could go to mat number two because there we could see uh, Van Tischelt, Dirk, number one seeded in this category. And uh, yeah, under sixty, uh, under seventy three against the Georgian. Yes. Well done, by the French. <laughs> but uh, just a short change because they already started.